lesson or a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Hello, it's me again. So, Atari, whoever the hell they are these days, are making a reproduction Atari 7800 plus, I don't know what the plus represents. Will I be getting one? No. Why not? Well, I've got an actual real Atari 7800. Ah, you say, but the, uh, the 7800 plus has got loads of games built in. And you'd have to spend loads of money on cartridges for that thing. Fair comment, but I've got one of these, which is a Retro HQ game drive for the Atari 7800. You just put all your games onto a micro SD card and it plays uh, 2600 games as well. Bung them in this, bung them in the 7800. Hey presto, tons of games. Ah, you say. But the video output on the PAL 7800 is bloody awful. And you're right, it is. It's absolutely diabolical to the point that I don't play my Atari 7800 because the video quality is so crap. And I say don't, what I mean is didn't. Because this thing, this blows my mind. It's got a video output uh, that takes the SCART lead from the Mega Drive Mark II, and so long as you've got a TV that will accept a SCART signal, um, and some of them are a little bit finicky, but mine does, and if you've got one that doesn't, well, you can get SCART to HDMI adapters, some are more good at it than others, but whatever, my TV, this works. The video output is fantastic, so um, Given that I'd already got the 7800, and I do like using the real thing rather than reproductions, and I don't care about having original cartridges, I just want to play on the real hardware, yeah, I'm not going to get a 7800 Plus. Uh, is there a downside to all of this? This thing costs £147. <laughs> I don't know what the 7800 Plus costs, but I bet it's cheaper than that. So, uh, it, it's kind of a purist, non-purist, thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't have a logical argument for getting one of these over getting a 7800 plus if you just want to play the games and have a little bit of nostalgia and whatnot. A real purist would get original cartridges. I'm just a hardware collector who wants to use the real console but doesn't actually care about having the real game cartridges. And probably is not very sensible with his money <laughs> he says yeah definitely not sensible with me money um i'm gonna just do a little video clip in a moment showing the uh, the rf output from the pal modulator in the 7800 and compare it with the scar output from this thing and uh, you'll see the difference it is massive and i'm still blown away by this i i mean the idea that you can take video output from a game cartridge blows my mind. So, um, Mr. Retro HQ, whose name I should know, but I don't remember because old middle-aged brain, you're a very clever man and I appreciate your work. Very nicely done. Okay, bear with me, I'm going to plug this thing in. Okay, this is even worse than it was last time I used it. This is the RF output from my 7800. I've got two 7800s. I'm wondering if my other one is slightly better than this, because, Jesus. Oh. Loud. Just, yeah, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just. And I, believe me, I have tweaked and fine-tuned and everything to try and get a decent output from this. And uh, this is as good as it's going to get on this particular console. Uh, that's awful. Uh, I'm forgetting I have another gear. This is pole position 2 on the Atari 7800. Uh, 
I mean capacitors and everything they degrade with time and I imagine that's what's gone on here because it wasn't this bad last time I used the thing awful would not bother okay let me switch cables around and we'll have a look at the video output from the uh, 7800 game drive and here we are pole position 2 exact same console exact same TV but played out of the video port from the 7800 game drive it's just worlds apart in terms of video quality and you know this is worth playing what I should have got which I didn't was an adapter that lets you play the game with a Mega Drive joypad because my uh, 78 controllers are a bit rubbish actually this one is not so bad but the, the other one is awful oops yeah I'm not good at this but that's not what we're here to uh, demonstrate we're here to demonstrate that this is a really good cartridge and if you don't really want to get some like modern recreation of the 7800 and you do want a lot of games on a real 7800 this is the thing to get it will improve the experience massively if you get the um, Mega Drive 2 SCART lead and use that if your TV can take a SCART input it's great um, value for money is really that's very much a personal choice or opinion or whatever because it ain't cheap it definitely works out a lot more expensive than buying a 7800 plus thingamajig that Atari in inverted commas are making these days but I'm, I'm very pleased with this I like it a lot um, definitely don't regret buying am I going to play many 7800 games now um, I'm going to make some videos yay yes you're going to have reg uh, uh, I'm not going to say regular videos you're going to get a few videos from me of, of 7800 games uh, how many depends on how many I churn out today before I get bored um, and that's a strong possibility because honestly and this is another reason why I won't be buying a 7800 plus thing Atari 7800 games are actually a bit crap like when the 2600 came out it was groundbreaking and pretty much the best thing you could play in your home at the time for quite a time by the time the 7800 came to market the NES was already better it was all I mean I think they developed the 7800 before the NES but then didn't release it and then by the time they did the NES was like dominating and just the games on it were better uh, and I hate the NES so for me to say the NES was better when I hate it, uh, it says an awful lot about the games on this thing. They're not great. And there aren't that many of them. Mm, okay, waffling. Thank you for watching. Ah, yes. So, I think the button that releases the hound to that subscribe button. <laughs> oh, hello, yes. Do subscribe. <laughs>